All right, so we're back. Let's go into the sewers. Yay, sewer level. Hooray. We'll have to restore power to the store. Keep your eyes peeled for a fuse box. Those power cables lead deeper into the tunnel. All right, let's follow them. So let's follow this giant, poorly insulated cable. I mean, I don't know. Maybe there's like a plastic coating over that. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? That's not child safe at all. No. You're in a sewer, Reg. Yeah, it's a sewer. Come on, I mean... With their giant monster brand HDMI cable. <laughs> oh god, monster brand. They are ghosts from the great beyond. Uh, it don't matter what they are. When they cross over, we're all out of work. To all thugs currently on patrol in Rebel Slog City, there is a Lombax on his way to the Skytrain station. Whoever brings me his head will earn a bonus 10,000 volts. You know, it'd be nice to go just one day without someone putting a price on my head. Also, you're only worth 10,000 bolts. Disappointing. Yeah, like, if they kill me, they'll get more bolts off of my dead body than they will. <laughs> yeah. I wish you could frighten them off the ledge. I know, that would be so great. Oh, that's a good shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, dang. Okay, so uh, the last gold bolt in the level... You look up here and you shoot these crates, which, you know, you wouldn't think to sh were, indestruct were uh, destructible at any time because they don't give you any indication that they are. I mentioned it in the very first goddamn video. But right here. It's hidden behind these crates that you have to shoot. It took me a while to find that one. Who's living down here? Look, have you never heard of hobos living in the sewers? Apparently they got a pretty nice racket going on down there. I don't think they install beds. No, they do. They install, like, electri like electricity stuff and everything, and they live pretty sweet lives in the sewers. Huh. Well, I guess, yeah, they could just splice into that HDMI cable and... Wish you could tip that crate over onto them. I know. Oh, that would be so neat. Oh, also the um the jetpack does eventually run out of fuel. However, if you sit down and you just don't move or don't fly for a little while, it'll regain it up to barely blue levels again. So you're never truly out of fuel, but there are a few places where if you do get that low, you're pretty screwed. Hmm. That guy took a long time to freeze. He must have been running a fever. Where's the power socket? But where's the battery bot? The amount of time that it takes an enemy to freeze is based on how much health they have currently left, and I was just trying to freeze them from the outgo. And those are the uh, the bomb throwing guys, which have like the most health out of any of the thugs for less dudes. And skill point. I think this is the last skill point in the game that I earned, aside from doing nether stuff, is you have to do this entire segment right here yep, use without refilling your fuel. And it kind of sucks. Like, the entire flight back or the entire segment? Uh, the entire flight back. Okay. Yeah. The entire segment would be just a little bit... Uh, overkill. Yeah. At first I thought it was just 
the entire flight back, or the entire thing, but no, it's just this one flight back part. I hope that H- giant HDMI cable is more shielded than it looks, otherwise, you know, it's going to be bad. Yeah, it's going to be pretty bad. And also, I think um, doing this is, or doing this skill point is pretty much impossible unless you have a uh, an item from a later uh, planet, so... <laughs> yep, I didn't even do anything, and I got Poor managed bastards. to... Yep. Oh, and you're still not done. You have to crank it once, at least. It will kill you if you don't crank it fast enough. Also, hey, there's a glowy thing up there. What could it be? Oh. <gasps> You first encountered him in a sewer. It is natural habitat. You first encountered him in his apartment, which was connected to a sewer. Uh, huh. Yeah. Oh, good. You found me. Well, now that you know where I am, come and get me. Where's Vendra? Peekaboo! <laughs> I want to show off the snowmen, but Mr. Zircon keeps killing them too quickly. This, it's an acceptable loss. Oh, and this part's cool because this is like the only area in the game where you get to fight a big dropship like this with your jetpack. I really, really like this fight because it's really fun because the jetpack is really well done in this game. It is. Unfortunately, it just boils down to, like, circle strafing it, and then when you have to turn around, you just let up on the gas and then go underneath his bullets. Hey, guy, you know I have, like, like seven more guns? <laughs> One of them freezes you and turns your arms into peppermint sticks. Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> you should be horrified. Speaking of horrified... That was a good segue. Yeah, it was. you think we'd time that, but no. We didn't. Uh, we don't plan anything. No. We're dumb. Dumb or great? No. Nah, nah, it's, it's dumb. Pretty sure it's, it's dumb. dumb. Yeah. yeah. Definitely dumb. Yeah. In fact, it's so dumb that I'm going to go refuel even though I don't need to refuel. I could easily go anywhere That's just in this. good practice. Well, I guess. My brother has let his car run out of gas twice in the past year. The only time I ever came remotely close was because I was unemployed and had no income coming in, and I was d running dangerously low, and even then, I was like... Uh, had to go to my parents be like, can you put like 20 bucks in my car, please? Hmm. It sucked. I'm glad I have a job again. Yeah. You are now entering a no <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple of those. Oh, and I get really lost around here because I don't know where the dimension thing is. It's right there by that giant door I passed by. Not that one, but the one next to it. And, uh... Huh, it's on the truck! It's on oh. the truck. It's, um, it's on the no. truck. What the <laughs> fuck is going on? <laughs> Jesus, uh, shit. We are dumb. I've platinumed this game, everybody. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. What? I am really confused at this point. I have no idea where it is. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you find it by X. <laughs> oh, this one's annoying to do in the um, do it in a certain amount of moves or less. Because holy shit, um, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but depending on what difficulty you are, these puzzles are actually different. Like they get easier on easier difficulties. 
Mm. So a good way to actually do a bunch of these and the uh, do them in a certain move or whatever is to actually play them on the easiest difficulty, so that way you have less things you need to move. Huh. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. The first time I played this game, I was playing it on hard, and there's like a million more things in this level. It don't touch it. Eh. All right. This one's annoying because there's a bunch of these moving platform gim uh, puzzle things, and I don't really like them. Does anyone really like these? Uh, I don't like this particular segment, but like in general, they're they tend to be pretty good. Uh, whoops, messed that up. There we go. Now they can't hey. move. You've outwitted a piece of metal. Awesome. Let's punch a monster. Yay. Ow. Oops. Well, not getting my no damage skill point. These are the worst beach balls ever. <laughs> I think this might be, for me, the hardest one to do in the certain amount of moves because, uh... It's just that last bit. Yeah, that last bit's pretty murder. It took me a while to do this one. Uh. No, I have so much to live for! <laughs> Good work, pal. What is that poster of? Um, that poster? No, the... I'll well, point it out if we see it again. Okay. Good work, pal. Now let's go get Vendra and Nefton. Yeah, let's go boss fight. fight a boss. done to the sector. How many lives are you going to let Vendra ruin just to open a few portals? She's strong-headed, I'll give you that. Hard to blame her, though. Can you imagine seeing your kind right there? Close enough to touch, but impossible to reach. Yes. Yes, I can. But wanting something too badly can change you into something you're not. It doesn't matter. I'm her guardian, and since you want to hurt her, I suppose I'm just going to have to kill you. Yay! Beat up a purple ape! <laughs> this is Nefton Prague, and he's probably my favorite fight in the entire game. I know you don't want to do this! Jon Snow. You messed up my joke, damn it. <laughs> he has a bunch of different tricks. Uh, he'll send his giant things into the floor and send out electricity waves. He'll hang from the ceiling and uh, slam them what at you. What is he hanging from? Uh, I think he's hanging from the thing that's uh, support... Like that ceiling thing that we saw earlier in the cutscene. Oh, by the way, here's what happens when Mr. Zircon levels up. Zircon Jr.? What's that? Let's find out. So it turns out Mr. Zircon has a family! Oh. <laughs> we got his son here, Mr. We got Zircon, Zircon Jr. Zircon almost everything. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Nefton has a lot of different attacks, and he's a really fun fight, but also a really hard one, especially on hard difficulty. I got stuck on him in hard difficulty for a while, and then I managed to actually beat him without getting hit. Though, when I finally did beat him. Which turns out is a skill point, is to beat him without getting hit. 
<laughs> Ooh, yay! Time yep. shotgun. Time shotgun. Yep, stasis field. So when you shoot them, they'll get stuck in the air. It's pretty fun. Let's show that off right now. Yep. Whoa, slow mo. Uh, that cable's kind cut out in half there. <laughs> Oh, I thought that was a graphical error. It's just cut no, down. no, okay. it's it's supposed to be like that. Ah, there we go. Get it by the train. Get hit by the train. Or we could just <laughs> go to the menu now. Uh, no, there you go. But yeah, as you'll notice that they're dropping presents now. So <laughs> you have timed that so well. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Halloween gun, guys. <laughs> Every gun in this game is the best gun. So, oh yeah, um, I keep interrupting him here, but Nefton is bringing up a point where he's saying that he used to be really scrawny and weak, and then uh, Vendra magicked him into being this huge buff guy. Alright, Nefton, I... we didn't personally throw her in prison, okay? Not us personally. Yeah. Come We're on, just Nefton. The jail guards. You're being unreasonable. You killed our friends. We're a little bit mad about that. Technically, he didn't kill them. He actually asked them to... asked to keep them alive. Nefton's a pretty cool dude. Yeah, Nefton's alright. It's just Vendra. I yep. really, really just oh. can't have any, don't have any. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Uh, but I don't have any sympathy for Vendra at all. Sure. Now you draw your blasters. Twenty years we've waited to be reunited with the Nethers. I expected this from the Polaris Defense Force, not from you. You should understand! If you let that monster cross over, everyone in the galaxy will be in jeopardy. I suppose you're right. But let's do it anyway. Dimensionator! Lots and lots of loading. I know. But, yep. Mr. Eyeball, everybody. Awesome. New objective. Get the fuck out. Jesus Christ. Get the fuck out of here. We're all going to die. Jesus shit. What is wrong with you kids? Uh, it's good that we've got that reference in here. <laughs> I'm glad we filled our quota for that. Yep. <laughs> But yes, Zircon Jr. has just as many quotes as Mr. Zircon, and, uh... I love his little quotes. He has an allowance of pain. He has an allowance of carnage. <laughs> oh, adorable little guy. Uh, let's see, what should I level up next? Oh, this! Okay. Do I actually... Yeah, I do. Wow! Okay, so now you can usually... When you throw down the um, the Halloween gun grenade stuff, you can only throw down one at a time, but now you can throw multiple. It's pretty nice. Ray! Oh, and if you look in the background, uh, I, I'm not looking at him now, but you can see Mr. Eye floating above the city. <laughs> I 
Uh, I just love the Nightmare Box. Yeah, the Nightmare Box is really great. When the twins came into our reality, they were young enough that their bodies could adapt. These nethers need protective gear to survive. Without it, they're in grave danger. You are now entering a no-fly zone. And I really wanted to show off these guys as uh, snowmen, but the Zircon family really, really hates snowmen. You could sort of see it there. Yeah. Metal Zircon needs something to shoot. Oh yeah, and also Zircon Jr. also gets really bored if you don't start fighting things almost immediately. Well, he's a kid. They need to be active. They got energy and shit. Ratchet, they have us cornered. They do not have us surrounded. Whatever. Look, I've got a gun that shoots time, so... <laughs> oh, these are the flying enemies. They're neat. Yeah, the flying enemies have a lot of health, like, even more than the other nethers, but that makes sense because they're bigger. And bigger equals harder than. Yep. Nah, that's not gonna reach him. But you can scare him to death. Yay! Hooray! Alright, well, we're done here. Alright, we win this game of hide and seek. Hide and, seek. <laughs> and uh, I tried drawing a skull, but it ends up looking more like a mushroom. I was about to say, that's a mushroom. 